Hi Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. Today we're talking about a Triumph 1050. I think he said 1080. <laughs> I'll tell you why. A couple of people have moaned. Now it's fair enough, some guy said back in 2008 on 480p, I apologise. Whatever was happening in the uploads, this was 1080 um, AI and for some reason it was uploading onto YouTube, it was coming down a little bit shaky in places and the volume control. Anyway, hopefully I've now got it on 4K which says 10. No, 2160, so hopefully you'll see me better. More colour, more depth, not of me, I don't know. Anyway, what are we looking at today? It's my old blessed Triumph, my workhorse. This is the one that gets me to work every single day. And I do love her, except a little fault that it's just starting to do. One of those ones I had to have a cup of tea and a think. Right, I start the bike outside, I go to work, when I start it, it goes whip, 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 boom. Lights a little dim, a little bit as you start it. I go to work, lovely. Finish my job, get on the bike, whoop, start, come back. And I'll do that all week. I then go to the petrol station. And another side product, the side product. I put E10 in this last week. It's really running well. And I think some of you have already said this. This is running like a rocket ship. Boom! Same revs, about 10 miles an hour extra. However, I've noticed the fuel gauge doing this massively. I mean, I know what I normally do a week, about 100 miles. Um, I've done 100 miles in this, and yet instead I've done 150, I've got 30 miles left in this. I think it's done like 40 miles extra in fuel loss. So that may be running a lot more. It is weaker, it does say it will do that. How's that environment? You've got to be going about E10 again. Moving on. So the battery, when I have filled up, the bike doesn't start. It, the lights come on, the, I can hear the fuel priming from the um, I could say injection system, fuel pump, and it goes nothing. Press the button, nothing. Press the button, nothing. I turn it on, turn it off, hit prime again, nothing, and I might get a click out of it, yeah, and then off and on, and all of a sudden it will start. So I didn't know it was a battery, I put the battery on charge, don't put a car battery charge, only four amp, these are 10 amp with the ones here. Uh, put it on charge, it's fully charged, went back to work lovely, same happened the next week. Now it only can be a couple of things, so I WD'd the electric start, I under here the solenoid, I sprayed that up, the little double connected bit there, so I got it down to either the battery or the starter. Mm. Any of you guys have this with this Triumph, slow starting? Is it a battery, is it a starter, is it an electrical problem? Maybe you can help me here, but anyway, what I've decided to do, it's for 40 pounds, buy myself another 10 amp. Um, I did look at maybe get a 12 or 14 amp, I don't want to damage the electrics, so I overheat them, so I've got another 10 amp, brand spanking new battery. Um, high power output one, so I'm gonna change the battery. But first, I'm gonna see where it does it on camera for you guys. So I'm gonna start it, let it warm up, and then see if it does it again. And then once it's warm, then change the battery, and it will work straight away, wouldn't it? And if it doesn't, then it's a starter motor. You gotta start somewhere. £189 for a starter, £40 for a battery. You might as well start somewhere, mightn't you? Millie, as normal, panting away, eating a bone. So without stinking the dog out, open the garage door, I'm going to see how this starts. And you can see the lights and see what I'm talking about. Also, some of you may have noticed, brake pads. I've done lots of videos, lots of videos on brake pads. Really, really pissed easy. Check my channel there. I've uh, got a Triumph ST GT um, versus brake pads are brake pads, piss easy, <coughs> take them off, push them back, stick them in, grease them, <laughs> back of it, and away you go. So we're not going to do this on a video. I could have gone for some nice EBC ones, um, but it's a workhorse, you know, it's not for heavy bends or heavy braking, nothing on the road when I'm on there, so job done for me. They're good as OME spec, OME, OEM, uh. right, let's start it, right, mind that doggy. The blessed alarm, you know how much I love them. Ready? Let's let it run in for a minute or so. So she's running for about 10 minutes now. Huh. This is the usual thing on camera, is it? Um, 
Let's leave a little alarm set. This is when it normally does it, I'm at the petrol station. And then I get in and I sort of pull the clutch in and it goes through the system and I, I press the button and, and not a lot happens. So we will see. Um, the bike could do with some valve clearance. About 5,000 revs when she's cold, you get a little bit of tap. Don't think that's going to stop it starting. There's the usual noises. Let's just make sure this. I did think maybe it was the immobiliser messing around, because you've got nothing, you know? What's your thoughts? There's the alarm cutting in. Normally you waddle off in to pay, don't you? Uh, wait for two people. Bloody fuel crisis. Why is the media, and this is the news media, not held accountable? If they hadn't have said there's a fuel crisis, then people would be running out filling up with fuel, would they? Then they said, oh, stop panic buying. Oh, it's got the opposite effect. Come on. When are they going to be held responsible? You can't say nothing on Facebook nowadays about fact checking this and COVID clear this. And yet the media can give all the books in the world, say what they want to say, 1%, so 100 garages. And it's caused chaos in my little area now. Massive queues of people panicking for the weekend, filling up their bloody cars. Got a lot to answer for. Anyway, here we go. Priming, light on. Just bloody typical, isn't it? Rude! Well, I'm going to change the battery anyway. As I paid for it. Hmm. As I paid for it, I might as well wait till it fully charges, might I? And I do, and I do have other things to get on with when the dog gets out of the way. Yeah, it's important to you. Hey, alarms. Got lost the other day. Oh, your moped channel? Mm, not really. Cars, vans, mopeds. I speak to the guy quite often. I started on mopeds, didn't I? I just had a little selection in. This will be the last moped I am getting in. Video going to come out after this one. This is just a quick interlude. I'm just popping out this weekend because I'd like to know what the damn thing is. So here you go. I'm going to change the battery. Put your comments below what your thoughts are, and I'll give an explanation again. Start the bike here. You see the way the lights go, the way it starts. I get 10 miles down the road. I put in the petrol station, fill up, alarm set. I walk in, pay, come out, get on the bike, and it's just. Nothing. A couple of times you went, Wee! you know when you get a spin noise, like on the old peds, Wee! and then nothing. Keep pressing the button, nothing. So I came back home for the MOT, I sprayed the button, WD'd it, uh, the connector where the battery is looked like it's a little bit, um, I took them off, I sprayed them all up, I charged the battery until it was green 100%, I popped back in, started much better, perfect for the whole week. Went to the garage again, kick, kick, nothing, nothing at all. Turn it on, turn it off. Turn on, turn off. Um, then I reset the immobiliser, put it back on again, nothing. Turn it on, turn off, and then it started. Also, ha, huh, don't want to admit this one, but I also was in a load of queue of traffic, and the guy pulled out quickly, went to go, and didn't, and <laughs> I stored the bike. <laughs> I got cars behind, I went, ah, crap. You know, I had to jump off, wiggle over the side, play, cut the four times she started, and the way I went again doing this to the guy. Fuck you! <laughs> so, change the battery. What's your thoughts? Is it electrical problem? Is it a mobiliser? Is it a battery? Is it the starter motor? Comments below. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Me changing this battery, you're still going to get the same start, so I'm going to finish it here. Hopefully though, let me know also whether the camera is amazing. My colour and picture and ginger hair and fat bits and muscles and yeah you get the picture I'll stop now I'm gonna finish my cup of tea and then I'm gonna actually change these brakes and after the brakes I'm gonna get on with uh, changing all the peds and mess around with them but honestly I really appreciate your comments I do answer them a bit sharply sometimes and I apologize it's just the trolls you know you don't know what you're talking about I'm not trying to say you know <clears throat> If you're going to slate me, you're going to say you can do it better, 
have it on your channel and I'll learn from you, I'm more than happy. Don't just tell me your best mate's wife's granny's pigeon told you and I'm a liar and I'm wrong. Yeah, this will be going on. But anyway, I do appreciate all the people that stay with me. I do appreciate my newbies and I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe. Stay with me. Bye-bye. Rant of the day. Way too much time. Don't get out enough. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> for those who haven't turned off yet, I've actually got to cut the videos that I'm just going to pop out at like 2 o'clock in the morning. They're just old ones. I did a, an old video and uh, I really didn't like it and I'm babbling on there saying no one's going to watch it, I won't release it, but I'm going to because it's going to be a short full of videos for a little while. And then I did a brake lever one. I did this all brake lever and I thought really clever and I realised I didn't show the cable one, I just did the hydraulic one. <laughs> I'm just going to whack them out because I've got them uploaded and they're quite old now. I've even got an oil one, a testing an oil one as well from a bug. Yeah, I'll release that one as well. So, anyone who's still watching and wondering why the credits haven't come up yet, it's come still babbling. I'm going to release them. They are not as good a quality as this should be. Stop talking! <clears throat> Hi, Mark Savage here. You should be hearing me and seeing me a lot better. Um, the last video but one, well, no, start again. Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. You should be seeing me and hopefully hearing me a bit better. Uh, my camera was running in 1080, I've now got it in 2160. Um, high definition 4K it says on there. Um, I was running in 1080 but for some reason when I'm downloading it... This will be at the end because it's always... Yeah. Stop again. Stop chewing!